playoffs. We're going to begin today. <laughs> Let's focus in on the Ravens, another AFC North team. They would find themselves on the outside looking in. The Ravens currently have a 31% chance of making the playoffs per ESPN FBI. Their chances would improve to 59% with the win on Sunday and fall to an 8% chance with a loss. So not so great. So Ravens just on the outside of that playoff picture. And then we know Lamar Jackson's health totally in question. So are the Rayoffs playoffs hopes essentially done, especially if Lamar is hurt? What do you think, Sam? Yes, absolutely. It reminds me of like in high school. I don't remember. We had, you know, we had inside jokes in high school. And like people would be like, and you're done, right? And Ravens, you're done. And it's, it has nothing to do with, with uh, uh, your talent. It's the lack thereof. It's about the people <laughs> who aren't able to play. It's about all your running backs who are injured. It's about Marlon Humphrey, your pro bowl, your all pro outs, uh, cornerback who's hurt, all the other DBs who are hurt. It's about offensive linemen who are injured. It's about now your quarterback who's gone. So for me, it's not the fact that the Ravens aren't a good football team generally and historically. It's a fact that this year in 2021, this isn't the Ravens. This is just like the, the Ravens, like the the right. You know, what I mean, it, it just stops like at the ends. Leave the back half off of it because it's not the same football team. So you're done. Okay, so the Rams are only a four and a half point favorite. I say only because okay. I feel like with all of the injuries and if there's no Lamar Jackson, you feel like it would be bigger. What do you think, Mighty? Do you think that the playoff hopes for the Ravens are out the window, especially considering how we saw Lamar Jackson limping around practice yesterday? Yeah, it's not over. And I'll complete the word for Sam. It's the Ravens. And they have a heart of a champion. And they have a great head coach. And because of that, I can't count them out. Now, look, we all know they've been decimated truly on both sides of the ball. And in this game, I am worried about their corners against the great Cooper Cup and Matt Stafford and OBJ's coming along for the Rams. But they're at home. If they beat the Rams and if the Chiefs beat the Bengals, which, according to Sam, is a mortal lock, all they have to do is beat the Steelers, and they're back in the playoffs. So I think it's a real possibility. And if this game was in L.A., I'd probably feel different. But it's one game. Tyler Huntley has surprised people. I think Baltimore can beat the Rams this weekend. And, Mike T., I think you're right. You're, actually, you're absolutely right, actually. The, the Ravens actually do have a heart of a champion. The only issue is they just had open heart surgery, bro. Everybody is gone. The heart is the heart <laughs> issues right now. So, so I'm, I'm with it. Like, if anybody's pro Ravens and a fan of the Ravens and what they've done historically, I am. I love the way their defense has played. Offensively, they had the number one rushing offense the last two years. So we get it. But this is not the same football team. This is not uh, the same team, the same players that are going to be out there. This is different guys. Second string, third string, even fourth string guys. And so I get it. Harbaugh is a phenomenal coach. He can do phenomenal things, but I don't think he can overcome the Rams football team that has won three or even four games in a row. And so for me, I'm going Rams, heart of the champion, correct, but that heart has been replaced. Okay, if Lamar Jackson is not 100%, obviously it takes away his biggest strength, which would be his mobility. And so the question is, is he going to play or is he not going to play? And Jeremy Fowler, I hear you have an update. What you got? Well, it's not looking good right now. They're hoping that his ankle injury can perk up over the next few days. You know, they'll probably give him through the weekend just to see how he feels. But Tyler Huntley is on track to start this game. And I don't even know if Lamar Jackson is a slam dunk for week 18. I think the Ravens are going to keep waiting for him to come save the day. That doesn't look plausible right now based on the way he was moving around. You know, I talked to somebody with the Ravens who said it's great that he practiced on Wednesday for the first time since December 12th. He just doesn't look like himself right now. So not looking good. Yeah, I know a lot of times these teams, and this is just from me covering the NFL for a few years, these teams will have a player practice and see how he reacts to it. Obviously, this news is not great considering he didn't right. react great to that practice. Jeremy Fowler, thank you so much. Okay, we're going to get to some picks now, and we're going to play this the same kind of way because all of us are on the bandwagon here with the Rams. Like, the Rams are going to go in. They're not as bruised and having open heart <laughs> surgery, according to Sam Acho. But then we've got Mike T here as the contrarian this time. And so who are you taking, Mike Tannenbaum? Yeah, I'm going with Baltimore, and again, they're at home. They have a better special teams, and I think they're going to find a way. And I like Tyler Huntley. I think he'll make enough plays against the Rams, which are vulnerable on defense. We know about Aaron Donald, know about Jalen Ramsey, but there are plays you can make against this Ram defense. I like the Ravens at home. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.